definitely say uh, it's a lot more stress relieving than it is stress inducing. Obviously, um, I have an eight month old puppy, but so at the very beginning in the early stages, it was a little more stress inducing, but it's definitely been worth it because now it's been a whole lot more stress relieving. I don't really find it stressful. I thought that I would, um, but my dog has been super easy to take care of and um, She's honestly helped me kind of like get myself out of bed in the morning and get outside especially because I want to have her be able to like socialize and um, get her exercise in. So it's honestly helped me be more productive, um, if anything. He definitely provides a lot more like serotonin and happiness than I had before and it's just like something to look forward to every day. And in, in addition to that, like it's very helpful to be able to get outside every day and actually have a reason that you have to do that. Especially like during COVID, we're not really doing much. All we're doing is really staring at computers for like just about anything we do. Uh, it's a give and take relationship. At times it's the opposite where I feel good having my dog around here, but other times it's having the responsibility of a dog can be stressful. I would definitely say like monetarily, having a dog can be stressful because you never know what could happen like there are accidents there are things that happen that require extreme vet attention and a lot of money um, and I think that in order to get a dog you must be prepared for those kind of things because um, you want to obviously be able to take care of them and to the best of your abilities and also because it's like kind of your baby uh, you want to be able to make sure that like he or she is having the best life that they possibly can so that can be a little bit stressful but yeah more so just like stressing out about her safety if anything or like I'll, I'll get I'll feel guilty like leaving her for longer periods of time at my house or anything but other than that um, not just trying to make sure he's not like bored or doing anything like that he shouldn't be doing in the apartment there are more expenses for sure, but um, I've kind of chilled out on other expenses right now, like going out, eating out less and stuff, so um, it hasn't been that that hard. And it's not, I don't know, it's not, it's not as much as I thought it would be, um, as long as you, I'm like making sure she's not getting into stuff that I need to take her to like the vet for or anything. I live in um, Skyview on campus, which is, it's very nice, very pet friendly. We have a whole courtyard dedicated to dogs. And that's really nice because like it's an area where he can run around if I don't have the time to take him for a walk or anything that day. I personally think that my apartment complex is really great for dogs and like it just in the beginning it was a little more of a struggle but now it's definitely like I definitely recommend where I live for dog owners. But I would make sure that you're in an environment where you can take care of one and um, you're not going to stress it out too much like if you're throwing bangers in your house every weekend you know then like maybe it's not the best idea but um, if you have someone that can watch them um, and are able to afford it then I definitely would recommend it. I've always loved dogs. I've always been a huge dog person um, and I've always wanted one but I've kind of just thought it was going to be too big of a responsibility for me. Um, my sister has dogs too and she's been trying to convince me to get one forever so that it was going to like change my life but I just, I don't know, if, since quarantine I was just bored and I thought it's a perfect time to take care of a puppy right now just because there's so much time on my hands. Um, so I just decided to get one um, and rescue one, but I'm very happy that I did because she's made my life a lot better for sure. Overall more helpful to me. Um, he is uh, actually a registered emotional support animal and so I got him to like have more of a uh, meaning for like myself and knowing that I was responsible for another like being and everything like that is has really helped me and so like even on some days like I previously said if you don't necessarily want to go outside or like you're just feeling like really like your mental health isn't that great that day um, although it sucks in the moment to be like oh god I have to go get up and like take him out um, it's obviously better for you in the long run because you're getting outside getting that vitamin d that you need and like just having a little bit of change of scenery for a, for a minute and so I would definitely say overall he's been a lot better for my mental health and like taking care of something that is bigger than yourself is um, definitely very rewarding. So yeah, I would definitely say it's more of a positive and a benefit than the latter. Oh, totally. Just any time I come back to my place and he's uh, just super excited to see me and he's just always pumped up. I thought it would be honestly I really thought it would be but it's it's not been at all I've really enjoyed her especially like 
I don't know, it's just like having another friend there all the time, like having someone to do something with um, whenever you want to do something, so it's, it's been nice. I would definitely say having a dog on campus is a lot more stress relieving than it is um, stressful. Thank you.